Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering the major feature in the April 2024 release of Home Assistant, which is categories, labels and floors. This is probably the most requested feature of all Home Assistant users, with over 2,000 votes, and with good reason. In a poll a few months back, I asked the question of how long have you been running Home Assistant? And to my surprise, over 52% of you have been running Home Assistant for over two years. Now that's a lot of people running Home Assistant for a long period of time, and probably with a lot of devices and automations, and the Home Assistant team understand this. Now we already have areas and zones which are invaluable for organizing our devices and automations. Now to improve this even more, the Home Assistant team have added categories, labels and floors into the April 2024 release to help you organize your system, but not just physically, but also logically. Categories are a way of grouping automations, scenes, scripts, and helpers, but not into physical locations, but logically. Links in the description to the Home Assistant documentation for categories. We'll be focusing on how to add categories to automations, but the same principles apply to scenes, scripts, and helpers. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes. Firstly, we can now add categories to automations. Press the three dots to the right of the automation. Select Assign Category. Use the drop down. Now in my testing, I've already added alerts and we'll come back to this later on. Select add new category. Type in a name for a category. Optionally give it an icon and press add. Now press save. You can see that the automation has moved into a section. So now we have the ability to sign categories such as lights, security or alerts to your automations to allow you to see relevant associated automations. Next, we move on to the second new feature of grouping by. This is a new button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Pressing the button shows four options, area, category, state, and one that doesn't group, which basically gives you the display you previously had. You still have the ability to sort by area, category, last triggered by, and state, all within the grouping you selected. The third new category feature is a button on the top left hand corner of the screen. Pressing this button now gives you the option to filter by area, device, entities, labels, categories, and blueprints. In this case, lights and selecting it will only display the automations that have the category of lights assigned to it. Pressing the filter with the X at the bottom removes the filter. Whereas categories can only be assigned to automation scenes, scripts, and helpers, labels can also be assigned to devices and entities. Now, adding labels can be a little confusing as this is not standard across Home Assistant. Well, not yet. Also, the mechanism to add labels is not consistent or intuitive and changes depending on what you are adding your label to. For instance, to add a label to an automation, navigate to the Automations tab. To the right of the actual automation, press the three dots. Select information, now press the cog. You should now see a label field. Press add label. Now press add new label. Give your new label a name. Optionally give your new label an icon and optionally give it a color. Now press create. Optionally, you can assign alternative labels. Now press update. The label will show with the assigned icon and color. A nice feature here is that by clicking on the label, you can apply a specific filter for that label, which you can remove by pressing the filter with the cross at the bottom of it. Labels can also be viewed, created and deleted within the label screen, not like categories. Navigate to settings, area labels and zones, select labels. To add a label, press the add label in the bottom right hand corner. Now give it a name, give it an icon and optionally give it a color and press create. To delete a label, press the three dots to the right of it and press delete and confirm with remove. To modify a label, select the label and change the entries as required and press update. To view all entities or devices or automation used by that label, press the three dots to the right of it and select the appropriate section. Interestingly, labels can be also used in scenes, scripts and helpers, but these are not yet shown on the drop down. I assume this will come in a future release but you can get to these in the relevant sections and filter them as required. Rounding off the trifecta of new organizational features is floors. Links in the description to the official Home Assistant documentation. 
Floors are logical groupings of areas and relate to your physical floor layout. Similar to categories, they do not have a dedicated screen where they are controlled. As such, they are created and assigned within the Areas screen. To add a floor, navigate to Settings, Area, Labels and Zones. Either create a floor using the button in the bottom right hand corner or assign directly. Press the Create Floor button in the bottom right hand corner. Give it a name, such as Ground. Optionally, assign it a level. I'll assume zero is the ground floor. Optionally, give it an icon. Now, Home Assistant has icons specifically for floors. So type in ground or first and you should see the appropriate icon appear. Nice. Now, using the drop down, add your areas that you wish associated with the floor. Remember, you can remove the area by using the X to the right of the area. The floor will now show in its own section and the area that you assign to it will be shown directly underneath it. To the right of this section are three dots. Pressing these three dots will allow you to edit the floor or even delete the floor. If you delete the floor, the area that was assigned to the floor will move back to unassigned areas. A great feature here is that you can now create automations and target both floors and labels. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes, and press the button in the bottom right hand corner for Create an Automation. Confirm that you wish to create an automation. Now in the To Do section, press Add Action. Search for and select Call Service. In the Service, search for and select the Light Turn On Service. Pressing the Choose Area selection, you can now see the ground is displayed. You can target this specifically and all devices that are inside the ground floor that can be turned on as a light will now be actioned. Likewise, you now have a Choose Label. Selecting this will bring up all of the devices that have lights associated with them that you can actually turn on. So now you can make your automations simpler and more focused on specific groups of devices. You could use this for only adjusting the colors for RGB lights or only dimming globes that have a dimming feature. The categories, labels and floors features within the April 2024 release is going to make grouping and optimizing and keeping your home assistant configuration a lot easier to maintain. Although this is the first implementation of these new features, I think you'll agree the guys have done an amazing job. A few more cleanups around the UI to make them easier to access and this will be my second favorite feature of 2024 behind drag and drop, video in the link above. That two huge releases back to back, 2024 is shaking up to be an all time high for Home Assistant. I hope you enjoyed the video and have learned something. If you want to see more of this type of content, then consider subscribing and joining the ever growing community and hitting that bell icon. Until the next one, even if you can't find your keys, you'll be able to find your automations.